from the beautiful Treasure Coast of Florida. You're watching Am Radio Concepts. Hey everyone, this is Eric, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts on YouTube. I have here the Smart Tweezers. You might have seen these online. You might be in electronics or a ham radio hobbyist. This might be a great tool to have in your shack. Uh, this is made by a company in Canada called Advanced Devices. This is the Calibri Pro LCR meter model ST5S. And the precision test leads are by Ideal Tech in Switzerland. And I'll show you what that means in a minute, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and unbox this, show you what it is. I'll give you a basic idea of what it's for. But in a nutshell, if you're using any kind of new age electronics like this, surface mount technology, okay? Some of these little capacitors or resistors are, are almost like specks of glitter, okay? And testing something like this will be a little uh, difficult with just a regular meter. But you might have an LCR desktop meter, uh, base unit LCR meter, which is kind of big. This thing you can throw in your pocket and take it everywhere with you. Let's open it up and I'll show you. When you open this up, first thing you're going to get is a certificate of calibration. And this is cool because it shows you the serial number, the certificate date of when it was calibrated, the measurement ranges, and the uh, basic measurement accuracy. Okay, uh, Very cool to know that this was precision calibrated for the, the best uh, uh, measurement accuracies. Okay, There are China models available, but beware. For $17 that you buy that thing from China, they did not calibrate it like this, and they are far less quality uh, than this. So you want to make sure you uh, do your homework and consider the authentic. This is a quick start guide to get yourself started with the device. It has a little bit of a menu structure on there, nothing too complicated. Just kind of gives you an idea of how to use the buttons and how to get through it to get started using this thing. Nobody likes to get a device and open it up and have no idea how to use it. But then again, you come to here to the YouTube channel to find out what it does and all about it. So let's take this out here and I'll show you. Uh, it comes in a plastic hard case so that if you drop it or you're traveling, it's got foam in there to keep it safe and sound. All right. Uh, inside, you'll notice the smart tweezers, the USB charging cable, and the USB flash drive. Well, that's funny. The USB flash drive comes with your manual in three different languages. So you can get the manual online, but who provides a flash drive with the manuals on there? That's pretty cool. Um, so there's your manuals here. Your USB charging cable is just like a regular mini type USB. Same thing as today's digital cameras and cell phones and such. Okay. Um, so the charging port for that is on the back. All right. But here is the cool thing. I remember I said the the leads precision precision leads are from Ideal Tech. Uh, these are gold leads. Take a look at these. These are real, real gold. Maybe solid gold, maybe plated, but they're real gold. Okay. And these are precision manufactured specifically for this device, so that you get like as lo as low loss as possible when you're making your accurate measurements. Um, you want to make sure that you know if you're using something like this, that half of the value isn't. Uh, lost or uh, calculated in, in some cheap material in the leads. So the China models do not have gold leads on there. And if they are looking like gold, chances are they're not for $17 because of the price of gold, uh, you know, even plating something like this would be a few bucks. So, uh, you know, those are very important and that's what makes this device very accurate when testing. All right. Um, so Let's go ahead and, and get this thing started, um, show you exactly what you can do with it, and a brief overview. Uh, I'm not an electronics expert, but I have dabbled in making some circuits. If you're into making breadboards and stuff like that, and making measurements throughout the way, this might be perfect for you. Or if you're interested in troubleshooting something like this, little tiny surface mount devices, uh, that might be perfect for you. So let's give it a go. Okay, so to turn it on, very simple. This button here is a up, down, left, right joystick, or you could push it down to turn it on and enter the menu. Okay, um, be careful with that. There's no need to use excessive force to use that up, down, left, right. Right now I'm in auto mode, and auto mode represented by the A here and the auto mode up top, auto frequency. It's set it as it's set as a one kilohertz uh, test frequency. And it'll determine what you're testing, whether it be a resistor, a capacitor, or what. 
For instance, uh, me being in auto mode, if I take this 10 ohm resistor here and I just clip the leads on it like so, all right, 10 ohm resistor. Now if I go right to, right to a capacitor, okay, it'll go to capacitance. And it shows me the resistance up on the top left. You can see the series resistance. Uh, basically, oh, that was my finger. Oh, so you got to be careful. So you can see the series resistance on the top left um, of the component as well as the capacitance. And then if I go right back to resistance, oops, auto mode just puts you right back there. All right. Now. If you want to manually go through the modes, you can use the left and right joystick and you can go to resistance, inductance, capacitance, impedance, ESR, which is a uh, resistance mode, a uh, series resistance, excuse me, the diode checker, I'll show you that in a minute, DCR, it's a resistance mode that uses DC voltage uh, through the component if it's in a, if you're not sure what it is or it's an unknown component to get a value it uses DC voltage out of the probes and your electrolytic capacitor test mode this is for testing larger electrolytic capacitors um, it sets it to 120 Hertz at a 1.0 volt S uh, 1.0 volt RMS uh, test voltage to get the appropriate reading all right let's go back to diode mode for a minute Diode mode will show you the direction and if the diode is good or not. So it shows me the direction with the anode marked here on the right with the band. It'll show me the flow of the diode. Let's see. There you go. Oh. Kind of hard getting my fingers or without my fingers on there. Let's do it again. There you go. And if I flip the diode over it, of course, reverses the uh, direction. Now, if that wasn't, if that diode was shorted, it would say that. I'm just touching the leads together. But if it was a shorted diode, it would tell you short. Okay. If it wasn't a diode, if you think you're testing a diode in a circuit and you're on a uh, diode test, well, it'll tell you not a diode all right so it lets you know um, so keep in mind you know when you're one thing that's very important very important when you're testing any kind of circuits do not put this on a capacitor that has voltage in it this is extremely sensitive material here this, this device and if you got something that's charged and you're going probing around or testing it you might damage this unit and it's not going to be covered under warranty because you damaged it uh, testing with voltage. So you don't ever want to test anything that's live. This I pulled out months ago. I don't even know where I got it. I got these pieces in a box somewhere that lay in there. So, uh, But, you know, also keep in mind when you're uh, testing on a board like this that... Oh, that's a diode test. Back to auto. When you're testing on a board like this, uh, you're going to get a reading... It's best to have this off the board when you're testing these, of course, because you're getting, if you're testing this capacitor here <clears throat> and it's in parallel with this capacitor, you're going to get a combined reading of capacitance that's not going to be accurate. So uh, the best is to lift one leg up, you know, take one side off, or if you're testing these little specks of glitter, as I call them, uh, you can test them while they're off the board uh, before you put them on. But um, bottom line is, this device is pretty cool. This might help a lot uh, when testing little tiny circuits. And now an LED is a light emitting diode, if, if you didn't know that. But this won't test an LED. They have an LED tester for that. You would think that uh, it will test a diode, it will test a light emitting diode, but it will not. So um, check out their other devices on their website, the advanced devices, uh, and they will show you uh, the the other models that they have here on there. Manual is online, like I said, in case you're uh, uh, 
not in case you don't have your USB stick with you, the manual can be had online. And uh, I hope this video kind of gave you a little insight on what this does, and and uh, maybe we'll use it in future videos and show exactly uh, the help this thing can give you when you're working on electronics. So thanks for watching. Seven three, subscribe and check out my other videos. This is Eric KJ4YZI seven three.